Important tips and resources for buying your home. All right. That's entire process is what we call as escrow process. The company or the tie or the or the or the arm or the body which handles that entire process, they are known as title companies or escrow companies. All right. So when an offer gets accepted, the, your offer goes to those third-party intermediary companies. They sign you a unique escrow number. And then from that point onwards, the entire transaction is tracked using that escrow number. Any questions on that high-level escrow process? Then I'll sort of dig down into a little bit deeper details. Any questions, Naresh? Nothing. All right, wonderful. Okay, so we got into the offer. We, we went to the escrow company. We gave them the offer. We opened up the escrow. Now there are two, two or three different threads which are happening during that phase, okay? Or rather three different threads which are happening during that phase. The first thread, what is happening is that buyers, what they are doing during that time, they are running another set of check on the property, which we call as inspections and property conditions review. They are looking at by inspection reports. They are checking roof, property, pest, whatever they need to do. They are checking all the disclosures which sellers have provided. They are looking at all the state mandated disclosures, making sure all I's are dotted, T's are crossed. That is a job of buyer and their agent. That's what they are doing. What bank is doing is they are they are doing and they are doing an appraisal on the property. Okay. What I mean by appraisal, and this is a one very crit critical step in the entire process. What I mean by appraisal is that a buyer might be able to pay $2 million for a $1 million property because they really like the property, right? But banks are not going to pay more than what a property is worth. That's what is known as appraisal. So what banks do is they send their expert people, what we also call as appraisers, they send those appraisers to the property, the appraisers go to the property, they look at the property inside and out. And then they put up a price tag on that property that this property is worth this much. Or they can say that whatever price the buyer is paying for this property, that's a good price. Okay. Or the price which buyer is paying for the property that is way higher than what this property is worth. Right. In that case, banks have an option to come back to you and deny your loan because you are potentially paying more than what a property may be worth. Okay. So first, first, first thread which is happening inside the second phase is buyers are doing their due diligence on the property. The second thread which is happening is banks are doing their due diligence on the property. And the third thread which is happening is the escrow company are doing their due diligence on the property. They are making sure the property is free and clear of any pending loans. There are no other liens on the property. The title is clear, meaning Tomorrow, if buyers get into the property, nobody else can come and stake their claim on the property. That's the third thread which escrow is running. So there are three multiple threads running. Buyers doing their own due diligence on the property. Banks doing their due diligence on the property and escrow doing their due diligence on the property. The focus of all three parties is different. Buyers are looking at overall health and wealth health conditions of the property. Lender is looking whether the property is really worth what buyers are willing to pay. And escrow is making sure that when property exchanges hands, it's free and clear. And there are not going to be any clouds on the title. By cloud on the title mean tomorrow nobody else can, can stake, can claim their stake on the property. All right. So those three processes, they happen during this phase two. Naresh, you had a question in the middle, looks like. No, no, actually you clarified it actually. Thank you. Okay. Okay. Wonderful. So these, all these three people, they are, they are, they're sort of running their due diligence from these three different angles on the property during this phase two. Okay. Now let's put up a small timeline on these phases. Generally phase two. Okay. Phase one generally depends on how clear a buyer's needs and wants are. Generally phase one takes about three to four weeks before we get up, before a buyer gets into contract on a property. Phase two takes up takes up about another two weeks, two to three weeks, rather two to three weeks. Okay, sometimes it's two weeks, sometimes it's three weeks. 
at the end of three weeks, when escrow company says, okay, I'm good, I have done all my due diligence, I've run through my checklist of due diligence, everything checks out good. Lender says, I have run through my checklist, I have done my due diligence, everything is good. Buyer says, we have done run through our checklist, everything is good, we are ready to go. The day all these three parties, they come together and they all three says, we are all good. At that time, there is a phase, what we call as we are ready to close the escrow which means we are ready to close the phase two of the home, all right? The day that gets decided, which is about generally four to five days before, we, we are, before, our, before the buyer is going to get the keys. Join our weekly webinar. Call us now at 408-763-8131 or scan the QR code.